Hi, I'm Aisel, the co-founder of TheCodingGirls.com. In this video, we will learn how to install brackets on Mac. There are a variety of editors for development of web pages. However, I like brackets because of two reasons. First, it auto-saves my work. Second, it allows me to preview the changes in real time. Okay, to install brackets, open your web browser on Mac and click on the Safari icon. In Safari, you can either do a Google search or simply go to the URL tab and write brackets.io. This will open the Brackets website and you will see a prominent call to action button with the label of Download Brackets. At the time of recording of this video, current version of Brackets is 1.12. The website is intelligent enough and will present you with a download link depending upon your operating system. However, if you want to download brackets for some other operating system, you can click on other downloads and you will be directed to another web page from where you will be able to download brackets for other operating systems. In my case, I will simply click on the download button and downloading will start. It will take a minute or so to download. You can view the progress by clicking on the progress button in the menu bar. When the download is complete, Close the Safari and click on Downloads in the taskbar. Click on the downloaded file and the operating system will verify the download. You can drag and drop the Brackets application in the Application folder. Close the dialog box and eject the Brackets installable file. To run Brackets, press Command key plus spacebar. This will bring the Spotlight window. Type Brackets and press Enter. When you run Brackets for the first time, it will verify the installation and present you with a security warning. Press Open to run Brackets. You will be presented with a default file, which basically is the guide for Brackets. You can ignore it for the time being and read Brackets Health Report, which is in blue color in the right top corner. Read the Health Report and close it by clicking on Close button. Installation of Brackets is complete. However, I will also tell you how to install the Autosave extension as this will help us in viewing the contents in real time. So, go to File and click on Extension Manager. This will open a new window. Type autosave in the search box and press enter. It will give you a couple of options. I normally work with autosave on every edit. It may sound a little bit overkill, but it gets the job done pretty easily. Press install and after installation, close the window. As per the default settings, the autosave saves the file after every 400 milliseconds. I have found the default setting to be okay. However, if for some reasons you want to change it, you can do it by clicking autosave configuration. The minimum value is 50 milliseconds and trust me, 50 milliseconds is a really, really small gap between autosaves. Press close and we are ready to write our first web page by going to file and clicking on new. So we are done with installing brackets on Mac. Let's get going and build our first page. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in next lesson.